Have you ever stepped into the Lut Desert in Iran? It's the hottest place on Earth. The ground scorches at a blistering 80 degrees Celsius, hot enough to fry an egg in seconds. But in the grand scale of the universe, that's barely a lukewarm appetizer. Let's turn up the heat. Venus, the second planet from the sun, is a world wrapped in a suffocating atmosphere of carbon dioxide, thick with clouds of sulfuric acid. Its surface simmers at 475 degrees Celsius. Lead melts, steel softens. It's an undeniable hellscape. But here's the twist. Venus isn't even close to being the hottest place in the universe. Far beyond our solar system, there are planets so unimaginably hot, they make Venus look like a summer picnic. These worlds reach temperatures rivaling the cores of stars, places where atmospheres evaporate, and even the most basic elements are torn apart. Stars, the ultimate cosmic powerhouses, burn with extraordinary energy fueled by nuclear fusion. Our sun, modest by stellar standards, has a surface temperature of about 5,500 degrees Celsius. But massive blue O-type stars, they can exceed a scorching 200,000 degrees Celsius. By comparison, planets are much cooler. Their temperatures depend on distance from their star, atmospheric makeup, and how much light they reflect. Even Earth, with its molten core and fiery volcanoes, is a frosty pebble in this cosmic inferno. But what happens when a planet strays too close to its star? When the rules of being a normal planet break down entirely? Meet Kelt 9b, a gas giant 670 light years away, discovered in 2017. It's one of the hottest exoplanets ever found. How hot? A staggering 4,300 degrees Celsius, hotter than some stars. Locked in a perilous dance with its blazing A-type star, Kelt 9b orbits at just 0.03 AU, far closer than Mercury is to our sun. One side of the planet is perpetually scorched, bombarded by relentless ultraviolet radiation. The heat is so extreme that molecules disintegrate, leaving behind a chaotic atmosphere of free-floating atoms and vaporized metals like iron and titanium. Here's the kicker. On the planet's cooler night side, temperatures dip just enough for atoms to recombine into molecules, only to be torn apart again as the inferno of day returns. If Kelt 9b is hell, then Kepler 70b is its aftermath. This rocky remnant orbits the core of a dead star, reaching a jaw-dropping 7,000 degrees Celsius, hotter than the surface of most stars. Kepler 70b likely began as a gas giant, but when its parent star expanded into a red giant, the planet was engulfed in fiery outer layers. As the star collapsed into a white dwarf, what remained of the planet was its exposed core, still smoldering at unimaginable temperatures. How do we measure such heat? Measuring temperatures on distant worlds requires ingenious techniques. Stellar radiation, a star's luminosity determines the energy it emits. Ultra-bright stars like Kelt 9's host bombard nearby planets with extreme ultraviolet radiation, vaporizing atmospheres and superheating surfaces. Reflectivity, planets that absorb more light than they reflect heat up faster. Kelt 9b, for instance, acts like a cosmic furnace soaking up nearly all the energy it receives. Proximity to the star. As per the inverse square law, the closer a planet is to its star, 
the exponentially higher its exposure to radiation. This explains why planets like Kepler-70b are seared beyond recognition. The atmospheres of ultra-hot planets are alien worlds unto themselves. On Kelt-9b, metals like iron and titanium vaporize in the intense heat, while radiation strips atoms of their electrons, creating a swirling plasma soup. Picture this. On the cooler night side, metal vapors condense into droplets, literally raining molten iron. But as the day breaks, those droplets evaporate back into vapor. It's not weather as we know it, it's a battlefield of physics and heat. On Earth, the Lut Desert's 80 degrees Celsius heat is enough to make us marvel. Venus's molten 475 degrees Celsius surface feels like an extreme. Yet in the universe, there are no limits. Worlds like Kelt 9b and Kepler 70b remind us of the raw, unyielding forces at play in the cosmos. Forces powerful enough to melt planets, vaporize atmospheres, and turn elements into plasma, pushing the boundaries of what we can imagine 